Welcome to Australia. How have you been enjoying your stay so far? Uh, great, great. We I've been in Sydney uh, last week and then I went to Byron Bay for a couple of days. So it was nice. Oh, great. Was the weather good up there? Uh, we uh, had half of it was rainy and the, the second half was nice. Very nice. Okay, so you've been pretty much relaxing for the last week? Yes. You've been working hard of late, haven't you? You've been touring the world a fair bit in the last year? Uh, yes, yes. Well, I think we've been making music and then when the album came out, the work really started, you know, like touring and promotion and playing live, and which is harder stuff than just uh, chilling in the studio making tracks. <laughs> which do you enjoy better? Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it, it goes like by by cycles, you know, so it uh, we, we we enjoy not to always do the same thing again, you know, so we I think it, we, we enjoy being in the studio and then we enjoy going on the road and then we enjoy being going back to the studio. Okay, so it keeps your mind open and ticking over and new ideas come into play. Yes, I, I, it's good not, you know, not to be stuck in some kind of routine or, you know, I think it's good. You called the album Homework. Does making music to Daft Punk ever feel like work? Uh, no, no, no. I think it was more a joke playing with with words, you know, recording it completely at home and then just like practicing. At that time when we did the album, we, we, we were not really thinking of doing an album. So in the idea of homework, there's the, the, the fact that you do it at home and also that it's just like from practice, you know. If you weren't intending to make the album, what were you? In, what, how did it end up becoming an album then? I think the whole the whole house and techno and electronic music scene so far was really singular orientated, and there was not that much equivalent of 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 long play albums like that, you know, of dance music. So so far we were always more focused on making singles, and 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 then we put together some singles we had made and 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 because of the 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 not the demand but the 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 exposure of the music um, we really started to think about making an album and that was the idea about homework which was practicing and and you know it's not like you're being asked to do one you know but you you're in, in certain circumstances that that make makes you do one well, it must have been a big challenge then, uh, you know, for a lot of dance acts, putting together singles is, as you said, the main priority, coming up with, you know, a good dozen or more tracks on an album. That must have been a bit of a challenge for you. I don't know, you know, we, we enjoy making music and, and, and that's true that uh, we don't see an album like uh, two or, th- or three strong tracks and then the rest like fill-ins, I don't know, you know, so it, it's true that for us, um, we don't have like uh, favourite tracks on the album in a way that we think they're stronger than others and 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 then we really took the time to to select and choose each track to to make it a good one you know just equal homework from daft punk it's been a very successful album for you were you were you ready for the success that it was going to get right around the world um you're never ready, but uh, I think you can you can take uh, you know safeties. So uh, uh, it's true that uh, staying anonymous the way we we decided to was a good safety not to to blow our mind. Or I don't know, you know. So that that's true. Now the album, the name, and the the music is very successful, and we stay quite down down to earth this way. I think so. We're really happy about the the way things have finally gone. Does, does, I mean, your partner in Daft Punk is Guy Manuel? Yes. Yeah, either of you, are you identifiable in France if you walk down the street? No, do people no, know who no, you not are? Not at all, not at all. No, okay. No, no. Do you, like, do you like it, or, do you yes, like it yes. that way? Yeah, yeah, I think we, 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 yeah, we really like it that way, I think, especially nowadays with the communication and the fact that the album was released in, you know, 40, 40 countries and... And 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 in is mainly instrumental music. We we stand against a lot of of, of ideas uh, regarding the star system and the the way the music is is sold with the faces to there and 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 the way that that faces to there are sometimes more important than the music itself. And we really were intending to 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 do the opposite and 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 maybe sell the music with the music itself so it's it's not you know it's of course people buy the record or not you know it's not the main thing but we wanted really to share the music with people and people that were really just into into the music we, we were doing and not 
not into our, our, our face. Yeah. The music, though, from Daft Punk has a very strong identity, doesn't it? It's hard for us to say, I think, but we, we're just uh, trying to, to do it and spontaneously. Yeah, I mean, if you compare the sounds of Daft Punk to a lot of other electronic and dance bands around at the moment, you can you can pick the sound of Daft Punk quicker than you can pick the sound of other bands. Well, I we we're not the best one to to uh, enti- you know to speak. It's it's easier for us to 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 make music rather than to speak about it and to try to describe it or explain it. Or... I know, but when you're actually creating the sounds of Daft Punk, I mean, you must you must be going. Uh, well, this is what you know. This is what the Chemical Brothers are doing, or this is what you know another band is doing. We don't want to do anything like that. We want to do something that's different. Are you influenced by what is happening around you in the dance scene? Um, of course, we we uh, because we're DJs as well. I think it, it you know we listen to to other people's record, but I, I think the main the main thing, the main influences we had in music was always about innovation and, and and being creative so that means we we might have been influenced by people who are doing really something original and 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 innovative and say oh that that's really innovative we should we should not do this this thing but we should try to to f- f- sort out and find out something which you know which could be really new in that way and that way and 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 that's the good thing in in the music and, and in electronic music today is that there is, um, of course, there is some some a lot of cliches and and things that are not really moving. But at the same time, you find some records and some bands that are really innovative, and that's the the good thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some people have actually, when reviewing the album Homework, said that if you want a bit of a history lesson in the in the in the styles of dance music, listen to this album from Daft Punk. Would you agree with something like that? Uh, I guess not. But I don't know. You know, we we. We're not the kind of people that were there, you know, in 1987 or 88. Of course, we were there, but being 12 or 13 years old, so we're really um, not um, uh, the right person to to give a a lesson about 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 dance music or house music. I think, uh, and um, we 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 got really into this music seriously around. Uh, being 17 or 18 which was in 1992 you know so so we i don't know i don't i don't think it's it's well that's a compliment because it means that it's a, people think it's a good quality you know but but at, at the same time i don't think it represents uh, the the history of dance music or whatsoever you know? yeah i think a lot of people see a lot of roots uh, in the in the sound of daft punk a lot of roots going back to as you said the house scene in the late 80s but also the disco scene in the late 70s Maybe, but that's that's uh, that was more or less discovered after after the time it was produced and, and created. So so that's not really like a lesson. It it might be, of course, we might find there there might be some people might find some influences, but I don't think uh, that's a, a good a good reason to to not to to listen to those original tracks from eighty uh, seven or those original disco tracks. It should not our music should not sum up any any other people's. Uh, the dance music scene in France as well, Thomas. What what's it like? Uh, the, the 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 French dance music that we get to hear is very different from a lot of other European countries. Is there a very strong identity of dance music in France? Do you think? For the last two or three years, uh, there has been a lot of of new labels and and distribution companies and and bands and you know acts whatever. I I, I think really. Uh, before that, uh, France was not really uh, considered being able to to produce good music. So, so the the whole press, especially the UK press, which is really strong in Europe, was more laughing at at the French people. And and they they started to from 1994, 1995, to take French people more seriously. So, this created a dynamic of of people thinking, you know, in France, okay, it's serious now. I think people are. Uh, um, you know, there was more exposure and, and circumstances were better for, for, for starting things. After that, I don't know if there's really a, a, a special French identity, but there hasn't been any any really uh, move, musical movement in, in France uh, that has been uh, successful uh, outside um, ever, you know, except from this electronic music, which mainly because it's instrumental maybe, you know. Mm. Has the success in the last 12 months, especially of Daft Punk, has that inspired other bands to get into the dance scene in France? Have you had much of an effect on musicians there, do you think? 
uh, we hope so. I, 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 we cannot confirm it. I, I, the, the, our approach was also to, to incitate people to, to, to make music at home and to uh, do their own record labels and do their own, own stuff. So, so uh, I think at least um, record companies are getting uh, um, taking more seriously the artists now and and you know it was always in, with major com- major companies always considered uh, house music and electronic music uh, not you know uh, not as important as it is now and now they're really taking it seriously so that means that maybe the artists uh, will be treated and are starting to be treated in a better way and 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 also everybody's starting to more understand how to to maybe promote the music but also you know they're they're just to to work together with with uh, independent labels and major companies okay well that's a good thing isn't it that's great yeah yeah no that that's a great thing there there is always you know there is a, when when something goes big you know and 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 this kind of you know dance music and electronic music is starting to 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 be and to very big all over the world now uh, there's always good things and bad things that are happening so but Mainly at, at the end of the day, the, the 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 result is quite positive, I think, right now. Okay, Thomas, the the, the shows uh, that Daft Punk are doing in Australia at the moment, they're not the full Daft Punk experience, are they? No, no, it's half. Uh, uh, in in um, in Melbourne, I will half of it, uh, half of the. So it's the Daft one or the punk one, as people <laughs> might say. Uh, I will be DJing. So so uh, it's not the live show, but it's just uh, you know we we. I bring a lot of uh, record we like, and we're DJing a lot. Also, we were DJing a lot in Europe uh, last year as well, and the year before. And uh, and so we we just uh, I'm just trying to 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 play some some tracks we like and to share it with the people which are dancing. Okay, the the full Daft Punk live show though. Can you just give us an indication of what it's like on stage when you do put on the full production? <clears throat> uh, what we've tried to do for a tour, which was in 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 from around may to december in europe uh was to and america was to um bring a lot of the this this the studio equipment we have uh, in the studio and bring it on stage uh, as well as with a, a, a light equipment and video project projections and but the whole thing being really um, um, put everything together that we could we could use it in a very different way every night so that means there's nothing pre-recorded and 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 in a very non-linear way we could play the the live show backwards or or just jam with it and and doing a lot of of um um of uh, on, uh, lo- 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 lot of improvisation oh okay so, so, so. It, it changes a fair bit yeah no it it would change from one night to another and that that was what we enjoyed is that we were trying to bring some and we were bringing something different every night uh, as well for the visuals too which were uh, uh triggered the the whole the whole uh, light system and video system was triggered by new systems which, which are uh, uh not like on 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 video tapes or whatsoever it's just everything on direct to disc and and you can have access to any images or any sound or whatever uh, um, by pressing one key instead of another, so so that 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 would bring this uh, random and raw, sometimes de- discon- deconstructed element, uh, but which is more vivid for electronic music. Because if not, we we we're not really interested in those uh, live acts. We ju- they just press play on the computer and they just fake uh, twiddling some knobs and and you know it's not the electronic music is 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 quite static already. So it, it, it's it's quite hard to to make it really really feel alive, you know, and yeah. that's what we were trying to do. Well, uh, yeah, well, the the live experience sounds absolutely uh, incredible. So hopefully you'll return to Australia and bring Guy Manuel with you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, uh, the Around the World film clip as well. Uh, that was that was a fantastic clip that you did. Do you ever use dances or anything like that on stage during the live performance? No, no, but um, no, we we use some clips from the from the videos from the videos so so but we don't we we just uh, that just two of us on on stage okay. well the 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 whole thing was it, it's it's much more uh, uh you know a physical experience maybe for people just to be on the dance floor to listen to a good sound system and to see some good lights and good projections but there's not like anything you know any really uh, human person to focus on like uh, we were the the center of the attraction so that means we we 
we more in the darker and 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 and, and still here the, the the music is is more the 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 star rather than us yeah okay and what about the sense of humor which comes through in your music as well is that a conscious thing or does that just sort of evolve in the studio uh, that's just a way of not taking ourselves very seriously so uh, so we, we we are human beings and 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 like everybody uh, you can have fun and and we think sometimes uh, uh, people who make music are taking themselves uh, way far too seriously you know so so we like to to it's just it's, there was just this this mood about about having fun you know so that doesn't mean it's just like uh, very very funny music you know but it, it can have uh, just uh, some some bit of a sense of humor yeah well maybe that explains the popularity of daft punk because uh, that sense of humor seems to have gone down well in a lot of countries maybe maybe i don't know enjoy the rest of your stay in australia too thanks a lot <laughs> <laughs> 